Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're back today to go over click blocking. Um, don't really pay attention to you know all the block sheds and all that. What I wanted to show you is the difference between click blocking and not click blocking. So what you're going to see is we're going to get on the tight end. You can do this with actually anybody. And if we click him out, what's going to happen is he's going to try and get outside leverage. But we don't want him to motion. And then if we click him in, uh, what's going to happen is you see how he goes down inside uh, and doesn't block the guy on the uh, wide side. He goes straight to a linebacker. So, so in this example, you see what's going to happen is we're going to click him outside and see how he gets outside contained. Um, on the defensive end or whoever's the guy most outside of him here you see again we'll try and click block him outside he tries and hooks the linebacker whoever's the guy to his most uh, outside and tries to hook him inside so we can get the outside uh, leverage um, but in other examples if we click him down what he's going to do is go inside to block either a linebacker or a safety whoever's um, inside the box like I said, you can use this on uh, the slot receivers as well as you see me doing some game plays. Um, this works really good in Jumbo Heavy because uh, you see clips later on where that I'm running Jumbo Heavy. Here you see I click down, he goes to the safety that time. Um, but you see like in Jumbo Heavy, if I, they have a corner base aligned, here you go. Um, and you don't click block him anyway, or if you click block him down, he'll go inside and not get that corner. But if we do not click block him uh, at all, he will not get that corner. So see there, we outside, uh, click blocked him, and he went to the corner. So that's the difference, and it can make a real difference um, on the blocking scheme because you can actually tell that outside receiver or tight end who you want to block. So to do this, once again, you want to highlight the receiver or tight end. You want to click block. Then you want to click him one click over, and don't let him move. That's the key. You do not want to let them move. You just click it over. And then a half a second later, you hike the ball. Notice how my guy is not moving at all before the snap of the ball. It's just the game registers that as him about to go into motion. So it's going to block uh, whoever you want him to, uh, to go into block the uh, receiver. I'm sorry, to block the cornerback or linebacker, whoever you want. That's, uh, I guess, the way the game works. I'm not exactly sure on why it does that. I just ran across this one day um, and noticed that it works really well especially if they have someone on the outside like a corner base aligned and you're trying to run a stretch when you have no receiver out there you can still um, tell the guy to make the block on the outside so i hope you all enjoy this video on how to click block and understand it a little bit better when i start talking about it in games um, if you did please be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel for more great content and be sure to check out madden247.com and if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and the best content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.